Salantana, Eina Yistelling, Shalom Rastafari. Greetings. Um, we're going to our website right now. We're going to look at some of the um, recent comments and some of the questions and try to take on a couple of questions as we are able to. First of all, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers, thank them for their um, patronage and their viewership, and as well as for um, um, vindicating, in a sense, um, the inspiration the inspiration to put up such videos on Rastafari discipleship and to touch on, on real themes, you know, real spiritual and Rastafari faith-building foundational um, issues and subject matters. Now, um, as we're just looking over our site right here and um, checking out uh, what's there, we don't always get an opportunity to... Uh, um, look at all the comments and the details that we would um, like to, you know. So if some of your comments um, do not get addressed, please don't think that it's because we're ignoring your comments or we think your comments are not worthy or anything to that to that effect. That that is absolutely not true. You understand? If we if we feel such, we would probably most likely say such. If we have not engaged a particular comment or question or something, someone please bring it to our attention or um, find certain ways and means of um, being patient and, and even repeating, you know, oneself or sending a comment to our main website, our contact at www.lojsociety.org. But there was... One particular comment, like we said, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers, different subscribers for their comments, for um, their words of encouragement as well. But over here, let's, let's go to Crown, Crown Christ about three days ago. Crown Christ said, said the, the, the following three days ago. It says, greetings, Adrian Iadonis. It says, uh, what is LOJ opinion on the following? And it's uh, regarding uh, First, um, first um, Timothy chapter 3, the one wife verse. And the Greek word there is Mia. The Greek word is Mia from Strong's 3391. And the question is, one wife uh, versus uh, could just as easily be translated as first wife or a wife instead of one wife. These scriptures might simply be saying that these leaders should be um, married men, not divorced from first wife, husbanding a wife and children, not necessarily only one wife. And then in um, a parenthesis here is I know the topic of biblical uh, polygamy Polygony, polygony, which is, I guess, the correct is the correct term right there, might be a touchy subject. Um, come, let us reason. So this is one particular comment that we were um, brought to. In other words, our attention was brought to this comment from from Crown Christ, and we're going to seek to um, engage this particular comment coming up. So we're just noting this for the record right here concerning um, the one wife or, 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 or first, first wife and what is the meaning of this that we can derive and whatever active um, principles that we can, you know, well, practical lessons that we can also derive from this as well. And just going over this um, since we're here, since we're here right now, looking at some of the other um, comments as well. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. All right. Um, all right, all right. This is some of the comments. Okay, we're going to touch on that as we, um, as we, uh, you know, go forward. So, th so this particular crown of Christ, we hope to engage engage that particular um, comment, and um, there's a couple others that we, I think we've, we probably have missed, and as we have an opportunity, we'd like to go over it, because some of the subject matters are still, are still outstanding, outstanding and needs to be addressed. So this first Timothy, this first Timothy chapter 3, 
chapter 3, the one wife verse, whether it's one wife um, in the sense uh, could easily be translated as first wife or a wife instead of um, one wife. So let's see what this Mia means in its proper etymological um, context. So stay tuned. 